Hi, this is Steve from Property Hive, and today we're going to be looking at the real time data feed add on for Property Hive. This add on essentially allows you to uh, send properties to Rightmove in the real time format uh, from your WordPress and Property Hive installation. So, what we're looking at here is a blank install of WordPress, and all I'm going to do is go to plugins and install plugins. And among all the other add-ons, the one we're interested in is the real-time feed add-on. So what I'm going to do is activate this add-on. And the, the, the first place that this affects is under Property Hive and Settings. What you'll notice is that we get a new tab called Real-Time Feed. And this is where we configure all the settings. So it's worth noting as well that we can have multiple feeds. So we could have two feeds to Rightmove, or should another portal support this format in the future, we could have one to Rightmove and one to this other portal. What we can do is we've got no portals or no feeds set up at the moment. So if we add a new one, so portal name, that would be typically be Rightmove in this case. Then we have two mo uh, free modes. We have off, test, and live. Off essentially means it's deactivated. Test means that uh, you'll be able to select the properties that, that are going to be sent to the portal, but it won't actually physically send. And live means that um, you can both tick the property to be sent, and also that the property will actually physically be sent. So the test mode is great for when you're configuring it. Um, maybe you want to have the option there on the property to select, but you don't want the actual properties to be sent as of yet. So working down the, the list of options, so most of the stuff that we find here is stuff that uh, the portal will be able to provide to you. In this case, what we need is a certificate file, and that's normally got a file extension of .pem, and all we do is browse and upload to that file. With that, there'll be a password, and then what will happen is we'll need to have free API called URLs. Now again, Rightmove will be able to supply this to you, but there's essentially going to be two sets. There's going to be one set of URLs when you're in test mode, and one set of URLs when you're in live mode. Uh, with the test mode, what normally happens is that you need to prove that you can successfully send properties, successfully remove properties, um, and, and what they do is they just make sure that all the, the data is coming through okay before they give the authorization to put it live. So what, at the time of going live, there will be a need to, to come in here and, and update these URLs. But when you're initially setting it up, it's the test ones that you're going to want to use. Further down, again, this stuff will be able to will be provided to you by, by Rymove, but essentially what we're after is a network ID and a code per branch. Now, what you can do here is in Property Hive, in this add-on, you can add a different branch code per office and then per, de uh, per department. It's, it might be that you have a single branch code for both sales and lettings, but that's fine. It might also be the case that you have the same branch code for all offices and all departments. Um, but when they send through the information, that you'll be able to get that and put it into here. So let's look at the next step. So we've added it. If we return, so we can see we've got a few errors here because we didn't enter that information, but that's fine. We can see it's live, we can see it's called right move, and then would, would we have filled in the information here, it would have appeared green. Further down, the next step is the custom field of mapping. So what mapping essentially is, is, is in Property Hive, you're going to have your own set of settings. So if we take property types, for example, you might have a uh, detached house, semi-detached house, bungalow, and so forth. Rightmove might have the same types, but they might also have different types. So what we need to do is, is go through each of these custom fields and sticking with types as the example is what we've got on the left is the ones we have set up in Property Hive, and on the right are the ones that Rightmove support. So it's just a case of going down the left hand side and mapping it up to the right hand side. So in this case we've got bungalow, we choose bungalow, um, studio, we've got studio flat, and it's a case of going down all of these options, mashing them up as closely as possible, and then click Save Changes. And then when we return, you'll see that this one is updated to say custom fields exist with no mapping set. 
So there's, there's three stages here. One is you've got the red no mapping set, you've got the orange one, and then green when all the types are mapped. So this is useful for knowing if you've got any outstanding. It's also good if you add a new custom field at a later date. So if we were to add um, duplex to the property types, we'd know that we need to come in here and remap it. So that's essentially the setup of the portal complete. Um, so how do we go about actually sending properties to the to the portal? Well, what we do is we go into properties, we find an existing property that we want to send, go to the marketing tab, and what you'll see down the bottom is we've got center portals. Now if we had multiple set up here, they'd all be listed, but we just set up right move so we can see that listed there. A property has got to be on the market overall at the top level, but then also we can select send it to the portals as well. So in this case, we're going to choose on market and send it to right move. And the, the property will get sent as soon as you click update. So if we click update, that will have attempted to send. Now, because we didn't enter any branch details, we didn't enter any URLs, that's failed, but um, essentially that would have gone sent, would have gone sent. If you don't see any errors, that means it's gone through fine. If there is an error, such as in this case, or even if there's a missing postcode or a missing price or anything like that that comes back from, from Rightmove, um, what we can do is we can go into the error logs and view the error. So this is the next part to this setup screen. So we've set up the portal, we've mapped the custom fields, but what we can also do is we can see a, a detailed history of everything that's gone on, both successful sends, um, failures, um, and with the failures we can see the exact error. What will happen is if we select a um, a option from the um, log files, we'll see the exact error. Now, like I say, in this example we didn't put any URLs in, so we're going to get a, an error regarding the sending of it. But um, were it a missing postcode, for example, we'd see missing postcode. With the error we can also see the full request that was sent, and if we had a response, we would see the full response. This just uh, assists us with um, uh, be getting in touch with the portals to say, you know, this is the request we made, this is the response we got. Uh, just, just a bit more debugging information, really. And that's essentially it. Like I say, you can have multiple, if, uh, if you find multiple portals that support the format. Uh, like I'm aware, I think at the moment, it's only right move that support this format. Um, yeah, that's essentially it. As you can see, we got through that process in no more than a few minutes. Uh, and then it's just a case of selecting the properties that you want to be sent.